When it comes to picking the hardest hit, you have to lay down the law. Newton's law. Force equals mass times acceleration, which is a mathy way of saying that power comes from size and speed. So what's the most important part of the equation? The question is, would you rather be hit by a big thing moving slowly or a little thing moving quickly? We'll start with a big thing moving slowly. Enter Sumo. These guys are American sumo wrestlers. Their combined weight, almost 700 pounds of pure mass. Yep, that's big. They started only 28 inches apart. Not a whole lot of space to get your mass moving. So in our efforts to try to measure how much force a sumo wrestler actually imparts upon impact, we actually put an accelerometer on their waist. The distance is small, but the mass is enormous. Coming together at just over one and a half miles per hour, this 700 pound collision generates 1,000 pounds of force. That's like having an entire pyramid of cheerleaders jump on your chest. Trust us, it's not as fun as it sounds. Okay, big things moving slowly. Got it. Now let's reverse the variables in the equation. What happens when the mass is small, but the acceleration is really fast? Pay attention. The answer is about to smack you right in the face. This is Rampage Jackson, light heavyweight UFC champion. He may not have the size of a sumo wrestler, but what he lacks in mass, his fist makes up in acceleration. Oh, beautiful Nobody on this planet punched harder than me. Rampage Jackson, up, thank baby? you so much for coming in. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is have you hit an instrumented heavy bag that centers inside, and we're gonna find out exactly how hard you punch. How do you punch so hard? Me? How, you. How I punch so hard? Yeah. Put my ass in there, cause I try to knock you on your ass. It's all about ass, people don't know that. What I'm doing is getting my ass behind it, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm bringing everything with all my weight. I just, I just lunge it. <laughs> Excuse me for flinching. It's okay, babe. Rampage cocks his fist back and goes, I'm gonna flinch every time. What if he's not joking? <laughs> just in his eyes. <laughs> Our heavy bag, used by the USA boxing team, is outfitted with special pressure sensors that will allow us, for the first time ever, to measure the power of Rampage's punch. How will the mass of Rampage's flying fist stack up to the classic art of sumo? You ready? impact is staggering. Can, can you feel him staring at you? I can. <laughs> yeah, that uh, there is definitely um, some data there. There's a reason why Rampage Jackson wins over half his fights by knockdown. A punch isn't about mass. The fist weighs little more than the brain itself, but he generates massive velocity. Enough to deliver 1,800 pounds of force and cause his opponent's brain to recoil back and forth in the skull. Kinda like having a teenage hippo sit on your head. Once again, not as fun as it sounds. But the fist is really the end of the story. Rampage's power starts in ground. It's called kinetic linking. The energy starts in his feet, 
drives up through his legs, hips, and into the massive ripped muscles of his torso, core, and gluteus maximus. An energy chain about to explode through his fist. The biggest link in the chain? The biggest muscle. That's right, the gluteus maximus. Put another way. Put my ass in there. Now that's a man who knows his science. Bottom line, the power that surges through Rampage's gluteus maximus and into his fist is almost double the sumo's impressive impact. Simply put, the small object moving fast knocked the crap out of the big objects moving slowly. Round one in our quest for the hardest hit goes to Rampage Jackson. Oh.